Well, what do you know, we're back on Hearts of Iron 4. And today is gonna be another challenge. Today's challenge is set by Vinvik1. Survive the German onslaught as Democratic Netherlands must join the Benelu. Oh. Bonus points if you manage to capitulate the Reich as well. Well, if I can actually form the Benelu, I'll give it a go. Also, I've been seeing an increasing amount of comments saying I'm a sellout for having adverts on my videos. Who do you think pays for Drew O'Neill's hair? You think it stays so erect by itself? That's what she said. As usual, I'm using Ready 56. And if you want to see more challenges, give the video a like and suggest future scenarios and upload the ones you want to see as per usual. Okay, well, I haven't actually done this before. Oh, okay, it's actually pretty easy to form the Benelu, huh? Well, here we go. We'll do po Plodderum free research slots, which is always nice. I'm also looking for other games to cover other than just Hearts of Iron 4. So if there's any other things that you might want to see on the channel, please let me know. And also, you know, upvote it as usual, please. I figured out how I can actually recruit troops from my puppets. So I'm I'm kind of spamming those. I'm learning. So I've recently done an Evelyn's challenge with Drew and ISP. So it went well last time because we were just trying to survive. Now I have to defeat the Reich because that's one of that's the bonus point if I can manage to comp and we've got Dirk Jandegear in charge, so there we go, good old Dirk. And now we wait for quite a long time until we actually have anything to do. So my first national focus takes 140 days. Well, to no one's surprise, the remilitarization of the Rhineland has happened. Oh, and the Civil War too. And now let's go down Democratic Influence. Gonna change this right to limited right away. So the Dutch East Indies have a huge manpower pool, so that's why I'm basically just going to milk them for their entire population. I'm trying to use my smarts. Well, there we go. I've tried to form the Benelu. Ah, Belgium's in. Oh, and Luxembourg's in too. We are now the largest faction in terms of nation. Wait, no, we're not the Allies. Never mind. Oh, there we go. We've got a little plopper territory down there. Got that big of a plop. Luxembourg is yet to recruit any division. Hurry up, Joseph. And Belgium, I don't even know. Although that... This kind of looks like my hairline. We're going to reinforce the Greba line, so we actually have a chance. Thank God for custom focus trees. Oh no, wait, Belgium, what are you doing? Why are you having a fart? That is a very strange line. So I'm just meant to abandon the rest of the Netherlands. I just want me to abandon the entire... E I guess that... Yeah, 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 give them that. I think we'll now get some extra factory. I think we will exploit our mines. Why not? I mean mines, not mines. Yeah. Oh, well, the lady's done it. Good for her. She's She survived. Germany's already going down Anschluss. That's pretty concerning. Not really sure how they've got... They got to go, but, oh. So we've got Peter Crack <laughs> leading our reserve army. He will make sure this line is safe. Whereas my normal army will patrol the border, I guess. But you can bet your, your tickle tackle that I am not going to be protecting Belgium. Or Luxembourg. Well, yeah, Germany's gobbled up Austria. I think we could all predict that, couldn't we? Oh, nationalist Spain's gonna take over Spain. Okay, Mr. Franco, Drew's Drew's worst enemy. What did you do to my bay? Let's increase our military expenditure. Probably change this to early mobilization. What just happened to Belgium? Um, what, what, what did France do? Oh, you bastards! Well. I'm just going to reduce my front line here. Oh no. Oh, they've gone fascist. Are you serious? How the f- Oh my god, I'm so... Jackie Duro, oh my god. Oh, they're going to join- They're going to join Germany. Are you serious? Why does this happen? Oh. No, it's not over yet. I've got my men doing exercises, so I'm pretty sure that they can- uh, Hold on indefinitely, right? Just just, just build forts, Alex. Just build forts. Fortress Netherlands. <laughs> Maybe they won't attack me. Maybe they'll be like, nah, we don't need the Netherlands. They can just they can just keep the red light district to themselves. Oh, great. Oh, balls. So now the axis is already this. I mean, like, just... just oh, but look, we've got, we've got the... Uh, <laughs> we've got the Cordon Santier and the Sabadat Pact, I believe. Oh, yep, yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> I have turned once again into a wart of the Axis. I am somewhat lacking infantry equipment. Oh! That was probably a bad move, Otto. Oh god, Germany's just going on a warpath! I don't know if I've built enough forts. I probably haven't, especially if I'm going to have to go up against France now. This makes this line pointless, doesn't it? 
Oh, well, they're at war with... Okay, you're right. Um, looks like the Allies are going to get their asses kicked. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> Switzerland's got a faction! Oh, that was... Jeez, that was quick. Oh, Luxembourg. Poor, poor Luxembourg. And the Belgian troops that were stuck there. That's 12 divisions of Belgians. Why do these challenges never work out the way I want to? And I bet everyone's going to call me a noob! Right, you, 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 you see the situation I'm in, right? Decided to abandon the forts in Brabrant. It's pointless trying to hold those. So this is my uh, final fallback line. Well, it appears that France's navy and Germany's navy, along with Italy's, has all been decimated by the United Kingdom's, but theirs isn't that strong anymore either. Wait. Oh, no. How did the... Oh, oh my god. What is going on? Are the Allies going to capitulate before 1940? Well, rip Great Britain. At least they're ignoring me at the moment. That's good, isn't it? Oh, I can't believe Germany's managed to do that. I do have five research slots now, which is nice. Uh, Germany, it appears we've already won that one. Oh, no. Oh, God, that border gore. Why? France. Oh, oh. oh, the French Raj and the new Mughal Empire. Why have you just got little blobs? Oh, this is as grim. And now the Axis. Look at that. Oh, no. Canada. It's him. Oh. New Zealand and South Africa are still in the Allies. Well, we can invite the Dutch East Indies to our faction now. We're no longer just a wart. We're a real superpower. Oh, you bastards. I could really do with raising my manpower. Well, it looks like Albania wants to join us. So, I mean, I could invite them in. However, they're at war with the entire Axis. However, I don't really see a situation where this is going to work out for me. So, you know what? Let's invite them in and see how our defences manage to hold up. Italy's justifying. Okay. Do you want me to join? I'll join your war, sure. <gasps> yes! Spain wants to join too. Come on in, boys. Oh, Luxembourg and Belgium aren't in the war. Um, well, I mean, the US is, and they've got 60 division. Oh, great. Oh, Luxembourg wants to help us. Okay. Hey, look, they're going to advance, are they? Might as well bring in Belgium. Oh, they are in the war. Well, Belgium's going to fall. I might stand for a while. I mean, I could advance, but I don't really want to. Oh, well, that's not a surprise. Oh, looks like Belgium's gone too. Well, I appear to be holding strong so far. I almost have air. No, I don't. It appears my fort line isn't holding as well as I thought it might. Oh, Republican Spain won. Or oh, Democratic Spain. Oh, oh, okay. All is not lost. They could come and aid me. This is really not going to plan. Okay, it appears my fort line is about to collapse. You Fall back. Fall back to the keep. Half a million men isn't going to be enough to hold the Netherlands, it seems. Oh dear. Oh, they got full on trapped, didn't they? Farewell, troops. You, you, you tried. So how's the US doing? Well, they appear to be making gains against Canada. Oh no, am I losing that fort line to... Oh no. Oh, Greece has joined. Oh no, they broke through that fort line. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna... Oh, Spain appears to be making a bit of progress. I appear to be holding for now, though. Um, no, no, please don't take Amsterdam. At least I'm inflicting a fair amount of casualties. Oh no. Oh, I've lost a line or line of forts. Oh no, I've lost Amsterdam. I believe I'm screwed. Well, at least, you know, Trotsky's still around. There you go. Okay, well, that's GG from me. Managed to last until August 1940. I don't see that anyone's going to capitulate the Axis now. I mean, the Benelux is still going. Oh, here's my new capital. Unfortunately, I've only got... Oh, I've got 14 divisions. Oh, they're down there. But I think it's pretty clear that I have failed that challenge. I gave it a good round, but a try. I feel that if the French didn't switch to fascist, I would have had a better chance. And England being capitulated via a naval invasion. It's just bonkers. So, there we go. If you've enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like and...
suggest scenarios in the future, but until next time everyone, I bid you a very, very good day! Many thanks to Ivan, Wyatt, Miss Lexicon, Random the Randomer, Nicholas, Travis, Sam, and ISI Productions for being ridiculous, rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too.